Every time you fire a syringe, the syringe would ask the game for a list of every player in the server to do nothing with. But it also doesn't dismiss it. So the game ends up holding onto this forever, creating a memory leak. This list of players is generated as part of a recipient filter in the code, which allows programmers to specify who can hear or see what effect. So presumably, there was some sound or particle effect they only wanted one team or person to hear, gave up on it, then forgot to clean up. I was able to set up a scenario where the syringes would disappear around corners and water, but it still happens in the latest version of TF2, so I don't know what they fixed. In the past, syringes in first person were tied to the location of the gun's barrel, which caused the syringes to wrongly disappear if you used minimal view models, for example. The syringes have now been made independent of your gun. Apparently the original was meant to use the reload sound from Quake as well, rather than the stock rocket launcher. If you were taking psychology, the introductory courses might be numbered 101 to 105. Then the higher level courses would start at 201, 301, and so on. TF2 uses a similar system. Every object in TF2 is given a unique ID number. If the first digit of their 8 digit ID starts with a 4, it tells the game that they're a static prop. A static prop are the barrels and trucks placed around the map for decoration. With this ID system, it's much easier to keep track of what object should do what. The problem was that in a recent update, they increased the limit for object IDs without also adjusting the static prop signifier. This made it possible for servers that were running for an incredibly long time to start assigning object IDs that started with 4, creating the two problems mentioned. MVM bots wouldn't spawn because a random temporary object would get wrongly designated as a static prop. The game doesn't want to spawn bots inside walls or props, so it checks to make sure that the area is clear. If the random temporary object happens to be in the bot's spawning space, the game will think the area isn't clear because it's detecting a static prop, causing the soft locks. This issue can apply to any objects that get spawned, so rockets. This bug would cause them to sometimes spawn as solid and hit yourself. Team Fortress 2 